Welcome guys, today was my first appointment at the Verkehrs Amt because I wanted to convert my Indian driving license to the German driving license and the funny thing I found out about that was that they don't care if your driving license is in English you have to get it translated into German too yeah alright the other documents for sure but the driving license which is in English that too in order that they entertain your queries you already have to make an appointment with them and that you can do by either calling them or going to the place and actually setting up an appointment otherwise they will not entertain your queries at all so I went to the Fakir's Amt in this great hamburgish weather rainy cold grey wet no sun anyways I went there I found the waiting room and I waited till my number was up ah yes I forgot to tell you that for this appointment you have to take an appointment letter that they will send you through an email you have to print it out you have to definitely print it out because they don't accept it if you just show it on the phone just so you know the appointment letter will look like this when I went inside after my number was called and told them that I want to change my Indian driving license into the German driving license they gave me yet another sheet with some more documents on it so like I said before they don't care if your driving license is in English they need it in German I told the woman the driving license is in English and she was like we're in Germany right? And I was like, yeah, that's why everything will happen in German. And I was like, okay, woman, no problem. I get it translated. So guys, let's go through the sheet that they gave me because it's all in German. And it will be helpful for you when you're applying for your own driving license conversion in Germany. So this is the document they gave me. Zuständigkeit, which is responsible for your application. Then what documents you have to bring. Either you have to bring a valid passport with Aufenthalts Erlaubnis, so maybe a visa and milde Bestätigung. Or you have to bring a personal ID, the Aufenthalts detail that you guys have. Then you have to bring a biometric passport photograph, which you can actually click here. I recorded it for you. Then you have to bring a valid foreign driving license and that's why you have to bring a translation and classification from ADAC then there will be service charge for 35 till 43 euros and then you have to make an eyesight test then you need to get a certificate for a first aid course this is not important for you until you're driving a truck or something then what are the requirements the person who possesses the foreign driving license will be given the german driving license only if he passes the theoretical and practical exam you can buy the theory question papers at a driving school or in a bookshop for the theoretical exam you don't have to take the theoretical classes at the driving school but for the practical exam, you have to find a driving school because the exam can only take place in the car of the driving school. Now, after collecting all the documents, you can again make an appointment under this link. And this is how it will work. Now, guys, stay in touch. Hit the subscribe button so that you know how the whole procedure will go. Like I always request you, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to put the tiny bell button on so that whenever I upload a video, you get a notification about it and you can watch it. Thanks for watching, guys. Until the next time. Cheers.